With the shorter length of the thicker wire, you can use the punch to just wind it around. That will give you a nice loop. You can pull your loop flat. Make sure the edge is touching. All right, we can lay that down and then we can solder that together. So it's a matter of just holding the soldering iron onto both pieces so that they heat up. Piece of solder and right. That's that side. Make sure the other side is nicely joined. A bit of solder. Right, so you've got a nice little loop. So, yep, that's going to be soldered onto that slightly longer piece of wire that you've already tinned. So we need to tin the end of this wire first. So heat that up. Get some solder to run. And then run it down the wire. Then you'll take your tinned wire put it on top and we should be able to just join these two Whoop. just by holding it there that one a join take it away so now you've got your wire joined to your loop now that that's joined we can bring our game back in and this wire goes down that little hole at the back that still hasn't got anything in it turn your game over you're going to make a small knot in your wire that just makes sure that when you're playing that you don't actually pull the wire back through and disconnect it from your soldering so oh, if I can push that through pull it tight right at the end and this just stops it coming back through the work there then that gets put across and gets joined onto these two wires there so a little bit of tape just hold it in place so it doesn't move it's been, already been tinned so we just have to lay our soldering iron on it on both of them so, and then add a little bit of solder so neat little solder so that can come off that wire is now joined on to that which is joined on to your red LED light and your 270 resistor now you've got your loop. The next step is to take the second length of wire, feed it through your loop and fit it down the hole with the rivet in. We can adjust the pattern later. We just need that up out of the way. And stay there. You're going to heat up both the wire and the rivet and then you're going to feed molten solder in there till you fill up that little hole that's holding the wire all right so that's one side turn it round move that back up and over the other way heat it and feed in the solder and it's hot enough it will just melt down the hole there you go there you go so your two little areas there the wires nicely soldered in place you've got your wire now we need to check the other side 
So we've got to join these on. So that last wire on your resistor needs to join on to that wire there and this wire will join into your battery snap. Right. 